Today, Joburg TV is out at Wondrous Club for the Forbes Africa Under 30 Capitec Meetup. This event will both showcase and inspire a new generation of movers and shakers driven to change the continent and the world. Let's go witness greatness take place. Next to me is Piwa. So I want to find out about your business. All right, my company is called um, Ryovic. What I do is financial technology, majoring in insurance. Um, I have a platform that connects people that want low insurance premiums with, with others that are willing to back their risk in exchange for a return. Yeah. And you, when you spoke inside, you mentioned that you dropped out of school. How was that process all like? Because I know a lot of us, we are scared of, of studying over. All right, okay. The difference is that when I was at school, I knew that I wasn't going to work anyway. So um, entrepreneurship was my destiny. So um, it wasn't a very difficult process. It was just a matter of stepping out and um, disappointing a lot of people yeah. and, you know, just being what I really want to be. Yeah. And... For your family, you know, how did they take the disappointment and the challenges that you faced during that time? It was a difficult, it was a very difficult process. Um, a, a huge part of it was a, was a secret until the time was right. Um, it took me about, um, I think it took me about seven months to eventually open up about what I was, I had been working on um, over the time because, you know, it was practical now, um, they could see the results. So, but it, was, it wasn't easy, you know, parents have a dream for you, they want you to be a lawyer, they want to be, you to be an engineer, and they can't understand if you're doing something uh, that doesn't really have any form of security. Yeah. And what word of advice would you like to give to other young people that would like to start up businesses, that would like to start over and make something of themselves? Okay, I'd like to tell them to, to at least plan first um, before they do anything. Um, don't bend bridges too early, yeah. uh, mistakes that some of us made. Um, because, you know, a, a startup is a, as, is a learning process. It's an experiment, it can fail, and you have to start over and over and over until you get it right. So don't bend bridges too quickly. Um, take your time, learn. Um, but you know, get your hands dirty. Yeah. Standing next to me is Ntlantlan Nisa. So I want to find out from you, what do you think of this incredible event? Um, I think it's amazing, and um, I mean to to recognize the young people that are doing amazing things within the community. Um, who have achieved so much at a young age, um, and just to say, you know, we see you. Um, we recognize what you're doing, we recognize the difference that you're making, it's incredible, yeah. And what would you say to your 20 year old self that was coming up in the industry and now you're here? So many things, so many things, but um, one of those things I would say is to say to myself, um, do what you want, you know, um, do what you feel passionate about, do not wait and want other people's approval, um, because at that age that's what we do, you know, you want to do something but you like, but what are they going to say, but what are they going to think, but if I fail, what are they going to say, are they going to laugh, that shouldn't matter, you know, that's definitely what I would tell my young self to go for it and not be afraid. Standing next to me is Timothy from Nigeria and he is an entrepreneur. Now I want to find out from you what is your business all about? My business is about technology first then uh, over time opportunity in South Africa is actually much more than te technology so we've also involved into other sectors of the uh, economy. So for me, like I said, uh, my passion is actually entrepreneurship, my tool is technology, but my mandate is actually to change nation by nation mm -hmm. in Africa. So it's about entrepreneurship, impacting the society. And what, have, what are some of the challenges that you faced as an entrepreneur starting up your business? So starting up the business is actually having the right knowledge, one, right 
tools. It, it took me years before I actually understood a lot of business principles as a startup. So I think again, uh, the biggest challenge we are facing in Africa is for the government to get involved with startups in Africa. It's actually a big thing because I'm pushing for something around Africa right now. I'm saying, okay, if so, if somebody is below age of 25 and you're starting up a business, I don't know the reason why any government should not be able to do three years tax holiday if you actually want to change the economy. So for me, I think government is the first thing, policy. Yeah. And what word of advice would you like to give to other young Africans to do something similar? And you said off camera that we have different purposes. What would you like to say to them? So for me, I think you need to chase your dream. Never give up. I was once called lazy boy. But today, the story has changed. I'm now from grass to Google. And also, I'm a study book for every hopeless youth outside there. So f from my story, you can do more than I have done. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to see greater youth in Africa very soon. The Forbes Africa Under 30 event was nothing but inspiring. And to all those that have dreams, remember, always pursue your dreams. From me, Usopsi Lomota, and the Jovek TV team, till next time.